Hey everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to share a little bit about my plant journey, how I take care of my plants. Overall, I don't spend much time taking care of my plants, I don't feed the soil, usually I only splash the leaves with water every day and occasionally move them around to fit the aesthetic of my apartment. This plant is called Ficus Neca. I got it from Brockmeyer a few weeks ago and also I got the pot from Brockmeyer's as well. It's great color and I didn't replant it into the pot and I don't pot my plants into because I prefer to be able to move them around easily. I splash it with water every day to keep it hydrated at optimal level. I made the mistake of overwatering the roots so now I just splash it with water from the sprinkler. You can also see there are some brown patches which means it didn't get enough sunlight before because it used to stand by my desk near the entrance door but I moved it closer to the window so that it could get a bit more sunlight during the day. Hopefully it will get better soon. This green beauty is also a ficus and it was bought from Aldi which is another German store and it came already with a plant stick which is nice because it grows very tall and is going to need some support for the stem in the future. I didn't overwater it yet, which is great news. I sprinkled the leaves with water every day and waters the soil once in two weeks. One thing you should know is that in Germany it is very rainy and the climate is very humid, which means I don't need to water or splash my plants very often, but they do need a little bit more sunlight. Let's move on to one of my favorite plants that I even gifted twice due to my friends grew, growing so fond of them. This one is called ZZ Plant. And it's a succulent, thus it doesn't need that much water to thrive. However, I do keep the soil humid most of the time so that it promotes its growth. The next plant I recently bought from Aldi and it's growing really, really quickly. One of my favorite things about this plant is that it sprouts during the day and sleeps during the night. It's very beautiful to see so alive on my desk or near the table and sometimes I keep the light on the table lamp and the reflection of it looks really aesthetically pleasing, which is interesting because I used to actually not like smaller leafed plants. But one thing you also should know is that the gray pot came with it, which is a great addition considering it only costed me 4 euros. There's another succulent which I really really like. I actually got a smaller one when I was at university, but unfortunately that one was eaten by bugs. Hopefully this one will stay healthy as I keep a good eye on it even though it's a little bit curved at this point. I keep it next to a nightlight and also I bought it at Brockmeyer in Germany as well as the pot, which is really really beautiful. I love it. It's tinted blue glass with some hexagonal pattern. It's a succulent so it doesn't need much water and I only sprinkle it once a week. This last little guy is actually my first plant I bought here in Germany from a very nice lady at the flea market, which is basically a flea market and it was very very cheap, only 1 euro for the plant and the pot. I love the pot design, it looks very fun and bright and it's a great addition to my apartment. In Ukraine we call this the money plant or the dollar plant, which is funny because I actually, called, I actually bought it for just 1 euro as I mentioned before. It hasn't really grown much since 3 months I had it and I don't know what I'm doing wrong with it but I hope it grows one day. I sprinkle it once a week because it's so small. Oh, thank you all so much for watching, I really enjoyed making this video for you. I hope you loved it and until then check out the links in the description to see what else am I up to now. And yeah, check out my other project and see you in the next one. Bye!